Hello, welcome to Newsroom Weekly Review. I'm Chella, bringing you Middle East U.S. entertainment news. I'm here every Friday at 4 p.m. Eastern, 1 p.m. Pacific. Subscribe now below and you'll receive my early release times. Thank you everyone else for joining me. There's been a lot of devastation in the Middle East over the last week. We'll get into that in just a moment. But first, Baghdad Mwanzi News reports today that Iraqi ambassador to Kuwait, Al Manhau, Al Safai, met on Friday with head of Kuwait's Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Mohammed Jassim. Sim Al Sagar, a statement of Ministry of Foreign Affairs, a copy of which was received by Mwanzi News, confirms that Al Safai and Al Sagar discussed during the meeting a number of topics, including the visit of Prime Minister Mustafa Al Hazimi to Kuwait next week. And he held a meeting with the Kuwaiti businessmen in order for Kuwaiti investors to enter the Iraqi commercial market and play an active role in substantial development in industrial and commercial investments, as well as discussing ways to develop bilateral trades between the two brotherly countries in light of the real desire to develop bilateral corporations at various levels and fields. And taking a look at economics, faceiraq.org. The Council of Ministry decided to approve the Central Bank of Iraq to take the appropriate measures regarding the rework of banking companies in Nineveh governance in accordance with the law and instructions in force. After the Iraqi national security apparatus has audited a security audit within a period not exceeding the maximum working months from the dates of reaching the request of auditing from the Central Bank of Iraq. And upon its completion, the approval will be considered if there is no answer. Shabak News reports the International Monetary Fund announced that Afghanistan will not be able to access fund resources against the backdrop of uncertainty surrounding the legitimacy of the authority in it after the Taliban took control of the capital cabal. As always, the IMF is guided by the view of international community. An IMF spokesman said there is certainly a lack of clarity within the international community regarding the recognition of the government as Afghanistan, and as a result, the country does not have access to special drawing rights or any other resources of the International Monetary Fund, he added. The Taliban announced its control over most of the country last Sunday, and the representative of the Taliban political office, Mohammed Neelam, said that the war in Afghanistan is over and the form of government will be clear in the near future. Baghdad People's Nas reports Wednesday the U.S. Department commented on the reports of Turkish operations that took place in northern Iraq. The Ministry of Near Eastern Affairs in a blog translated that Al-Hara followed by Nas August 18, 2021 20, statement. We are aware of the press reports related to Turkish operations in northern Iraq. We uh, reaffirm our view that the military actions in Iraq, Iraqi sovereignty, must be respected. During the last period, Turkish planes bombed a number of sites inside of Iraqi territory claiming to persuade members of the Kurdistan Working Party, the PKK, inside of the country. Pictures from the Sinjar district shows the effects of the Turkish bombing, which was affected the district and left victims. NAS, October 17, 2021, obtained pictures from Sinjar showing the effects of the Turkish bombing of the hospital in the vicinity of the district. And Baghdad Obsolete reports the president of the Republic, Barham Saleh, called on Wednesday, August 18th, to establish a national dialogue that would create an electoral atmosphere of confidence, noting that the elections are the right path for change and reform. The President of the Republic said in his speech on the occasion of Ajra commemoration and followed by the Ebs leaks that the epic of Ezra crossed the boundaries of times and place and that the position of Imams Hassan, peace be upon him, was the difference between truth and falsehood. The President of the Republic offered his condolence to the Iraqi people on the Azra commemorations. He added, Iraq is going through a defining stage, a national defining moment, and the urgent entitlements that are not without serious challenges, including ending corruption and consolidating the reference of a capable state with full sovereignty. 
He continued, we must appeal to the will of the people through the elections, and we must not underestimate the magnitude of challenges surrounding the electoral process and, and the seriousness to address the concerns around them through a national dialogue to reassure Iraqis and close the loopholes in the electoral process. Saleh stressed that the election should be the peaceful path to change and reform to get the country out of the accumulated crisis, and this will not be achieved without the free will of the Iraqis away from all values, interference, and manipulation, as the people are source of authority and the basis of governance. Baghdad Mwanzi News reports the President of the Republic, Barham Salih, made a phone call to Chinese President Xi Jinping on Wednesday. A statement by the Presidency of the Republic, a copy of which was received by Mwanzi News, said that Salih congratulated President Xi Jinping on the century of funding of the Communist Party of China. And the phone call emphasized the depth of historical relations between the two countries, the importance of expanding the horizons of joint corporations in economics, commercial and industrial fields, and the role of Chinese companies in reconstruction of Iraq, and their contributions to infrastructure, energy, and oil sectors in the manner that serves its interests of the people of the two friendly countries. The statement added that during the call, it was emphasized the need to enhance culture corporations between the two countries increase the number of fellowships for Iraqi students in China universities and value Chinese roles in helping Iraq confront the corona epidemic by sending vaccines and experts to help Iraqi health. The phone call also discussed developments in the regions where President Barham Saleh stressed the importance of work and coordination in order to defuse the crisis and their, reduce their tensions, noting that Iraqi security, stability, and sovereignty are based on the security and stability of the region. Economy News has reported that Baghdad, the International Development Bank and CBN and Lending Information Technologies IT companies have signed a partnership agreement for the state-of-the-art automated teller machines, ATMs, and solutions. The agreement aims to develop the payment services for customers and advance solutions for self-serving banking for the International Development Banks where a contract was made to purchase and support more than 300 advanced ATMs to advance banking services to a global level in performance. An official source in the bank confirmed that the agreement comes with the aim of adopting the best technology and global solutions that advance banking services to the world and deploy the largest number of ATMs in all of Iraq to cover electronic card services. And the bank continues to make continuous and advanced investments in the field of banking technology, where CBM will provide the company the first in the field of technology with long-term support of global level and high quality in the line with banks plan to provide an international level of service and achieve customer satisfaction and with the latest ATM technology support by high-level technical skills. CBM is also the distributor of Diebold Nextdorf, one of the most important providers of ATMs and professional IT solutions in Lebanon, the Middle East, and Africa. And after a recent attack by the Taliban on Kabul, Mwanzi News reported the U.S. Department of Defense, the Pentagon, announced on Monday the dispatch of additional 1,000 troops to Afghan capital Kabul. The Pentagon said to a statement, we will raise the number of our forces in Kabul to 3,000 by Tuesday. She also added, our forces in Kabul will respond to the threats and attacks accordingly to data and development. The statement concluded, we expect the total number of forces in Kabul to rise to 6,000. The news has definitely thickened in the Middle East. The international stage is definitely demanding as they work towards their goals. That's it for this week's Newsroom Weekly Review, your Middle East entertainment news. I'm here every Friday at 4 p.m. Eastern, 1 p.m. Pacific. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video if you like the content. It's been a pleasure being here with you. I'm Chella. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you guys next week. Make sure you join us Fridays, 4 p.m. with Newsroom Updates with Chella Smith Entertainment News. And don't forget us on Sundays for What's Cooking in the Kitchen. You can also find us behind the scenes 24-7 on Snapchat.